Good morning everyone. My name is Rajiv from the Quick Heal team. Thank you for joining us for this webinar on seven simple tips to take care of your new Android phone. This webinar will be presented by Mr. Nikhil More. Nikhil is an online marketing expert at Quick Heal Technology Limited and has nine years of experience in digital marketing and has a passion for technology usability and photography. Nikhil is also a recognized expert in internet marketing strategies for the antivirus industry at Quick Heal. Nikhil is associated with the cybersecurity program, which is the company's corporate social responsibility initiative. I will now hand over the proceeding to Nikhil. Have a good webinar. Thank you, Rajiv, for this warm welcome and welcome everyone on today's webinar. Uh, this webinar is uh, being specially organized on a special demand from a lot of attendees in the past who have asked us to share tips with them about uh, you know some precautions that they should be taking uh, look into uh, the fact that uh, mobile phone especially an Android phone is something which is a very near and dear thing to, for for users today and people would like to take care of these devices uh, against things which they foresee as you know uh, dangers uh, you know, so without any further ado, we will begin with today's proceedings. Uh, just a few things that I would like to say before we begin today's session. The recording of this uh, webinar would be hosted on the Quick Heels YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash quick heel. This and all the record uh, webinar recordings from the past are hosted here. This presentation would be hosted on SlideShare. Uh, so the address is slideshare.net slash quickheelbpts. Uh, after this webinar presentation, we would have a question and answer session where we will try and answer all your queries that you have about today's webinar. Please keep your queries restricted to today's webinar and not related to something else because that will help us save time on both of us. Uh, in case you have any questions for further after this webinar is over, you can definitely email uh, your questions to us. Our email address is corporate communications at quickheal.co.in. I would repeat the email address. It's corporate communications at quickheal.co.in. Now, let's begin with today's session. Now, seven simple tips uh, that we would explain where you can take care of your new Android phone. But before we go there, there's something, uh, uh, an alarming news that I would like to break open to you folks. Did you know that Delhi, uh, the capital of India, has the highest number of mobile thefts in the country? It accounts to close to 43% of the total mobile phones stolen in India. Now, you need to be careful, uh, you know, after reading such news because uh, this is only one city or one state that we are talking about. A lot of other states we have data where, where people have complained about their devices being lost or stolen. This news piece was taken from Indian Express. Uh, this article was recently published in the in Indian Express. Now, what are the topics that we'll be discussing today? First and the most important, seven simple tips to take care of your new Android phone, definitely I I'm going to share these tips with you. But along with that, we would also let you know how Quick Heal keeps your mobile device as good as new. You heard it right. Quick Heal does uh, help uh, its customers to keep the mobile as good as new. Uh, and what I'm uh, talking about, we will discuss at length in the later part of today's webinar. So let's begin with the tips for today. The f uh, seven ways to keep your Android phone good as new are first and the foremost, the moment you buy a, a new, a brand new phone, get a screen guard. A screen guard is a, a plasticky kind of a, a layer, protective layer on your phone that you can paste on the face of your phone, which is your touch screen of the phone. And you also need to get a sturdy case. Now, a sturdy case, or when I say a case, it means a, a, a panel which attaches to your phone from the behind, from the rear part of your phone. Now, how does this help? In case you drop your phone 
uh, you know it it saves your phone from from being uh, from being uh, you know uh, destroyed or from from cracks and the bruises and cuts basically uh, now in case you don't do that there's nothing that, that will disappoint you uh, because you might have an at least scratch right in the middle of your shiny new phone so this is something that would happen to people once they realize that they did not protect their phone almost all the smartphones nowadays you know if you check the boxes they come with a scratch resistant glass which is more popularly known as the gorilla glass so you have different classes of gorilla glass now basically what does gorilla glass mean that this is a scratch proof gorilla glass but this is a scratch proof not a dent proof you know if you accidentally drop your phone uh, you know on on the face of the phone on the touch screen part of the phone and the glass cracks there's nothing really much you can do about it so you make sure you get a good guard a screen guard for your phone so that it, it remains protected uh, investing in a quality screen guard and a case not only keeps your phone from getting nicks and cuts but also keeps it free from dust and other abrasive particles because if the dust enters your phone your phone gets uh, you know damaged uh, you would be at loss so it's better that you put a case uh, and and you know be protected against it let's move on to the next one it's a very interesting cartoon by the way charge your phone optimally so a lot of people do ask us at at, at times that what do you ex exactly mean by charge your phone optimally now most experts uh, that we have read uh, articles for or, or have done research about they recommend that you keep your phone charged between 80% to 40% so uh, your phone should always show a battery juice for between 80% and 40% not uh, you know you don't keep your phone always above 80% or below 40% now what does this help how does this uh, help most people live in a fear of running out of battery juice uh, they live in that fear more than the fear of getting struck by a lightning or being bitten by a rabid animal now jokes apart but most experts recommend keeping your phones charged between 40 and 80% so that frequent top ups instead of daily charging always 200% helps your battery be healthy do try this and let us know if this makes any difference because uh, you know you might uh, come across a situation where your ba battery is lasting longer or the life of the battery improves let's move on to the next one update the devices os that is operating system whenever available now uh, people who are non technical might not understand this in the first go but let me tell you what what we are talking about uh, every mobile phone when it is out in the market like if you are talking about android phones or even the apple devices these devices come with a operating system which is installed in the device and many a times these operating systems are upgradable to the next uh, uh, you know next generation of operating system that has been released now it happens a lot of times that these days uh, you know a lot of phones come with the uh, you know uh, operating system which is uh, android 5 which is which can which is uh, can be op upgraded to lollipop which is android oper operating system 6 now all of this is uh, not known to a lot of people so whenever you check your devices for if there is an upgrade available you can check in the settings there is uh, when you go to android phone there is settings in the setting that's about the phone or about the device where you'll be able to see if there is any upgrade or update available for your phone now uh update your android uh, android's operating system to the latest version whenever it is available it will show you a notification when these upgrades are available if you have heard about what are security vulnerabilities now vulnerabilities are basically weaknesses in the system you know that these weaknesses present in the operating system of a device 
the hacker can use these weaknesses against you and can infiltrate the device or he can infect the device with a virus and uh, also try and attempt to steal your data from your phone or other sensitive information now you might think that what could be important data in my phone well there is a lot of important information in terms of the hackers the bad people from the internet world uh, who have interest in your data uh, typically what kind of data is present in your phones your personal pictures your contact information your text messages your emails which might ca carry information about your banking transactions access to social media websites through your phone like facebook twitter uh, etc all of this information uh, if it is looked at it as as an individual piece of information is harmless but when used collectively it can disrupt somebody's personal life so uh, when when you say there is nothing important in your phone think twice because these uh, if, if you don't upgrade the security patches are not put in place that you might be in a danger of losing your data so the bottom line is whenever you find that there is an upgrade to your phone simply just take the upgrade and upgrade to the next level avoid choking your phone with unnecessary apps now uh, people do talk about this if you look at the android uh, the operating system or the google play which is the official store for google apps for android apps there are close to about to close to about 1.5 million apps on android and about a similar count for apple for ios now i'm sure you are very inquisitive as as i am to check out the new apps but remember your your phone has a hardware capability okay you might find thousands of free apps in your phone you don't necessarily have to use all the apps all the free uh, thousand apps at the same time now and i what i what i do as a practice is every uh, at a at a definite frequency like say once in one uh, once in a month or once in three months or uh, once in two months i keep checking my phone for the apps that i do not use okay the, sometimes it it happens that i go i read reviews in tabloids or newspapers or i speak with friends who recommend me apps in that hey have you checked out this app this is a very important aspect uh, important app i love it i use it now looking at these feedback i also feel like you know getting those apps installed on on my my gadget which i do and after a month or so i i hardly find that i've used the app once or twice so the question is do i really need those apps do i really need to keep those apps on my phone the answer is no what i do is i simply go and i uninstall those apps what am i doing by uninstalling i'm creating uh, you know opportunities for my device to perform better now how do i do it these apps when they sit in your device they consume your device's memory now if there are a lot of apps which are sitting in your uh, device which are consuming the apps memory and do, and are not helping you these are slowly uh, you know or ultimately they are slowing down your phone it only uh, you know does not just not, does not slow down your phone it consumes memory it, it uses your uh, battery it uses your data if it's a data uh, consuming app then it also consumes the data now at the end of the day you are not being benefited by these apps uh, being a part of your uh, device ecosystem if it's not required just remove it say you uh, you think that you might need this app in the later stage you can always go to google play store and and install the app again but you know it's always a good hygiene like you know we do it at at our home uh things which are not required we you just can you can get rid of those things so that you know our house remains clean and tidy the same way you keep need to keep your phone clean and tidy and this is a pictorial representation of what happens when you overload stuff you know, this is what what happens so it's a no brainer 
that uh, to download and install only those apps in your device that you require the most at times and get rid of the ones which you do not require. Let's move on to the next one. Tip number five is keep it cool. Now, we're not talking about keeping your cool, but we are talking about keeping your device cool, your Android device cool. A cool phone is a healthy phone. On a sunny day, you don't leave your phone inside the car and use it in the shade whenever possible. Now, a cool phone, <coughs> I'm sorry, uh, using the phone under the sun requires maximum brightness because obviously when you, you're in the sun, it's already bright outside and you can't see the screen. So what you do is you uh, increase the brightness of your phone. What it does in turn is it heats up the phone. Uh, say if, if you're like my one of my friends who loves long conversations, long calls, I recommend him, I, as is, I would recommend you even to use earphones, you know, because Long calls generally heat up the phone, which is, again, you know, not good for you. So, I, so you prefer using headphones. It's also uh, a good idea to keep your phone in open spaces in case you are having long calls. Always keep your phone in open spaces. Like, you, you can keep your phone on your desk. You can keep your phone uh, on, on your car's dashboard when you're driving. Don't keep it in confined spaces like your pockets or your bags, etc. You know, because that might... Uh, not be good for the health of your phone and uh, this is also recommended that uh, especially for people who, who love to have uh, who love to uh, you know talk while they are uh, you know driving something that we do not recommend people do do not talk while you're driving do not use your mobile phone while driving because uh, this way you are not only uh, jeopardizing your own security but you're also uh, you know putting a danger of uh, putting other people's life in danger uh, by talking on the phone while driving so just don't do that tip number six protect your android from malware and internet threats a lot of people uh, who are not aware of these terms malwares are basically programs that are defined to uh, it, uh, one either to disrupt the phone that is make your phone unusable or to steal information from your phone as information what i said is you know your your contacts your uh, personal photographs your sms your emails etc which contains a lot of information those that information uh, is is being stolen so you need to protect your phone uh, as i said malware can ruin everything that is good about your phone uh, and to, to stay away from infected websites, malicious apps, get a reliable mobile security software. This is the first thing uh, that you should do when you bought a new phone. The first app that you should install on your phone is not a game or not a utility app, but I would recommend you to, to the first app that you should use on your phone is a security software. Quickheal has its own uh, security softwares. We have beautiful softwares. Uh, we have the Quickheal Total Security for Android. We also have a new software for our Android users, which is called as Fantastic, uh, which is which is the friend app of your phone, and and not a, j just a utility app. We'll talk about uh, more about this in the upcoming slides. Uh, from corrupting the data to stealing a malware code can ruin everything that is good about your phone. So to avoid getting into a situation where your phone is taken over uh, by an infected app, get a reliable mobile security software that the software that you choose should automatically prevent installation of fake or malicious apps. It should be capable enough to block infected websites and should affect the uh, you know the device performance in such a way where it optimizes the performance of the device or makes the performance of a device better and it could live up to your lifestyle needs of the day moving on tip number seven get your new android phone insured now 
this is something that is not known to a lot of people insurance is available on your phone today uh, that insurance is uh, you know protects your investments against uh, you know a lot of threats of the real world uh, I'll, I'll, I'll like to narrate you a, a small ex, uh, you know story which happened with a friend of mine a friend of mine was traveling to uh, a big city, a city like Mumbai, and since it was his first visit, he was not sure about you know uh, where where to find directions to go to a place. So he bought a very nice phone, uh, some some 25, 30 thousand rupees phone, um, you know, uh, for himself. I don't remember the name or the or the make of the phone. But bought an expensive phone, you know, for, for you know, 25,000, 30,000 worth phone is expensive. I know phones are more expensive than this, but he used, he bought a new phone and he was checking for directions on his phone. And all of a sudden, somebody from the behind just knocked him down, snatched the phone from his hand. And within a matter of seconds, the, the, the thief just disappeared. Now this friend uh, of mine, he was, uh, you know, he was shocked for the first time because this was his first experience in the big city. He did not know what to do. He was helpless because he did not know a lot of people in that city. So he just saw a policeman across the street. He asked for where is the police station, went there, marched, lodged the complaint and things like that. But think of the situation. It was so awkward for him to. Uh, you know, to to find directions, to to call up people, and ask for help, because the only medium which he had of connecting to the virtual world was lost, was stolen by a thief. You know, the, you must have heard thousands and thousands of stories like these in daily lives. We open newspapers every day to learn about these stories where people have, uh, you know, uh, lost their devices. You know, somebody has. Uh, damaged the devices because you know uh, the the phone fell into water you know this this might happen you know there's a liquid damage to the phone there's a physical damage to the phone or the device gets stolen so what do what is the best way a person can uh, do to protect his investment in this regard is to buy an insurance for his phone and uh, I'm sure you would agree with this creative picture here. This is what people think about, uh, you know, when when uh, they know that their important device has been lost or it's been stolen by somebody. The only thing, uh, the only thought that comes to the mind is, I should have insured my phone, shouldn't I? So this is how quickly. Let's come to quickly. How does it helps you keep the device? keep it as good as new this is what i said we will be talking about in the later part of today's webinar quick heal helps your phone to keep it as good as new with an insurance plus security so we have a product at, at quick heal called as quick heal gadget Securance, which is for the android devices now this uh, android devices uh, uh, operating system devices we uh, sell own uh, a product gadget securance which has an insurance plus security on it. So this, what is this insurance about? The device insurance covers your device against physical or liquid damage. Now, I we have we have heard about stories where you know somebody uh, you know uh, you know uh, had a phone with a liquid damage and an expensive phone becomes useless or somebody. Uh, you know, uh, has a physical damage to the phone and the device renders useless because you know once it's a physically damaged phone, your screen is is gone, your physical device is damaged, the phone is rendered useless. If you have a gadget insurance, which is an insurance on your phone, then you will get a brand new phone. You will get a replacement for your phone, so you don't need to worry about you know losing your device which is you know basically if your device has has been uh, damaged by a physical uh, accident or, or a liquid damage then you don't need to worry about uh, your your device you know you'll get a replacement for it it also what does it also cover against it also covers your device against theft or burglary so you know if if you run into a situation like you know my my friend did where he had lost his phone, 
all he has to do is you know call up the uh, insurance company and and uh, claim uh, his insurance and he would get a new device there you know so all he has to do is is, is just claim his insurance and he gets a shiny good new phone another aspect if there has been an fire uh, fire accident or there has been a damage to the phone because of fire the insurance also covers that so if there is a damage uh, to the phone because of uh, you know a fire you don't need to worry insurance covers that for you most importantly that this is your this we are talking about a physical uh, damage to your phone what about if so if there is uh, you know you need extra layer of security you use your device to connect to the virtual world and and do a data interaction you exchange information you download uh, apps download stuff from it this way your device also needs protection from viruses and malwares now i told you what malwares are these are programs which are basically used to steal information from your phone you can keep your phone protected from these malwares in case of you know your device is is uh, you know gets lost there is a feature in the phone which has a mobile tracker it will tell you the exact location of your phone and you can find your phone that way most importantly a lot of people do not know about the second layer of protection that need they need to apply to your devices which is called as cloud backup now everything your contacts your personal photographs all this can be uh, this can be backed up to cloud so for example uh, this is this is what happens with me a lot of times i i love changing my devices so when i change my device when i get a new one if i have everything backed up on the cloud it's just matter of seconds for me before i get all the information back to the new phone this this is as simple as it could get you don't need to worry about you know physically connecting both phones and copying because that's a that's a big hassle for people who are not technically very strong so best way you can do it is use a cloud backup backup everything from your old phone to a new phone in matter of seconds a matter of minutes rather this is this brings us to the end of today's webinar in in case you have any queries uh, for later you can always write to us at corporate communications at quickheal.co.in uh if you can follow us on facebook our facebook address is facebook.com/quickhealav uh, our twitter handle is twitter.com/quickheal you would like to follow us on google plus the bitly url is bitly/quickheal google plus this webinar would be hosted on our youtube channel uh, the uh, channel on uh, for quickheal on youtube is youtube.com/quickheal and this presentation would be hosted on slideshare the slideshare address is slideshare.net/quickheelppts to know more about quickheal products please visit us on www.quickheal.com to know more about the gadget securities product of quickheal please visit us on www.quickheelgadgetsecurance.co.in or you also have a small url for it which is www. qhgs.co.in to know more about what's happening in the security world please follow us on our blog which is blogs.wikil.com we would now begin with the question and answer sessions before we begin with question and answer sessions this is some small tips that i would like to share with you folks uh, because i i believe a lot of people do complain about you know their phones being damaged especially during the festival times now uh, we we are towards the end of january now and and holy would be uh, you know coming up in a couple of weeks so some tips for you to protect uh, your phone against uh, you know surprise damages that might happen during this color of festival the festival of colors i'm sorry so uh, you know you can you can always use uh, with this which we recommend people do it is you know how do you protect your phone in in the festival season of holy especially you can use a ziploc pouch to put your phone into it always keep it protected so that accidentally even you know you touch your phone it's in in a plastic cover so it gets protected 
you can always use something this is very interesting we have seen this uh, on a lot of e-commerce websites waterproof cases or bags available especially for these kind of festivities especially like holy uh, the best way to, to do to uh, recommend that we recommend is don't take out your phone at all but in case you think that you are traveling outside or you need to keep in touch with your friends or family then definitely you might have a spare phone you know like an like an old phone that you might have you can take that phone and use it for a day you know switch sims and and use it for a day use your old phone but rather best way to do is you know not to remove the phone now even after that you think that you need to use your own phone put in a ziploc bag use an inexpensive inexpensive earphones this is something they can use you can use earphones and and even if that earphone gets damaged you should not be worrying too much because you don't use a expensive one the inexpensive earphone so that you can keep your devices protected uh this brings us to the end of webinar so let's move on to the question and answer session okay uh we have a question from one of our attendees nitesh uh, which is the best study case for note 4 uh nitesh i'm sorry we are we we don't sell uh, study cases but uh, you can find a lot of them on on you know these e-commerce sites if you visit these e-commerce sites you will definitely find uh, good study in, uh, you know cases for your note 4 i generally do is when i do my own research i look for reviews uh, for any if i find something really good i read reviews about those products uh, if the product is really good then people would say it is good especially if the product is not so good people will definitely voice it out so look out for uh, you know feedbacks or comments from people uh, when you when you are plan to buy new stuff I believe the, there was some problems with the audio for today's webinar. Uh, folks, don't worry. Uh, the recording of this webinar will be avail made available to you via uh, YouTube. So, you, in case you have uh, had challenges or had found disruptions in uh, during the broadcast, uh, don't worry. We will have it covered. We'll have a recording for you, which you can refer to for your later use. Okay, uh, we have an interesting question from Sanjay. Uh, how can I remove the pre-installed apps in? Okay, so Sanjay, if I understand your question question correctly, you're talking about apps which come pre-installed with your from from your device. Uh, so there are two kinds of apps uh, that come pre-installed. One is uh you know where it is where is you, you cannot remove the app but disable it and the second apps are which you can uninstall or remove uh generally the apps that come uh, with the device come uh, as as uninstallable apps those apps can be disabled but cannot be removed from the device uh nitesh has another question do i have to buy a new software if i change my phone no nitesh if you have bought a license uh you know and that license can be transferred from one device to the other so you don't need to uh buy a new software in case you change your phone Okay, Samir has asked us a question. After installing an antivirus app, I under I discovered that there are threats in some of the factory pre-installed apps. Should I remove those apps from my phone? Uh, Samir, we we definitely uh, would like to help you in this regard. If you could just share more information about this, uh, I will have our technical team look into this and and advise you accordingly. So. please send us uh, the complete details about your experience about this these apps that were reported in, uh, reported to you as 
you know apps that have potential threats do send us those apps and what we will do is uh, we'll, uh, have to check get a chat with my technical team and they will share their response with you can i find my phone using the quickheal total security software yes definitely can do that uh, uh, Kishore, you can uh, use the, uh, the phone tracker inside the device and that, that phone tracker can uh, find the phone for you. It's very easy to use uh, software that doesn't require a lot of technical expertise. Uh, Sridhar has, has a question. I've already put a screen guard on your phone, but the phone still has many scratches. Should I put a new one? So uh, Sridhar, to, uh, to tell you about screen guards, screen guards that come as of a default uh, from, uh, you know, from the, with, with the phone, these screen guards also have a life. You know, once the screen guard has surpassed its lifetime, you need to remove the screen card, replace it with something new because you know, the screen guard basically has done its, uh, uh, its, its, its work. It's protected your phones against scratches, but the screen guard itself has suffered scratches in, in, during this life. So it's better you, you replace it after its life is over. Uh, we have a question from Webhav. Uh, in case a, a thief steals my phone and he switches it off, then how to find it or how to find my device's current location in a switched off condition? Well, Webhav, uh, <laughs> this, is, this is a very funny question because if the phone is switched off, then uh, you know the last reported uh, place of the phone can can be found but if the phone is switched off and it travels to an, another city then it's really difficult because the way you can track your phone is either by using using your gps location of your phone so this is how your phone gets protected or gets traced using the gps location of the phone but if it's switched off the last location of the phone can be found out, but not the uh, current location of the phone when it's switched off. So I, I hope this helps answer your question. Uh, next question is, can I root the phone to remove pre-installed apps? Well, uh, to be honest with you, this is something we do not recommend. Rooting your phone uh, creates, uh, you know, uh, creates an opportunities or creates, uh, you know, situations where the vulnerabilities are op are kept open. When you root your phone, you basically are playing around with the security structure of the phone, which is, you know, predefined by the manufacturer. When you root your phone, you open uh, backdoor entries to for people. Now, these backdoor entries can be used by hackers to steal information from your phone. So. You know, our recommendation, do not root your phones. Uh, we have another question from Kriti. Is it safe to check my bank accounts and my statements on your phone if I have an antivirus software installed? Well, Kriti, you can definitely do it. Uh, you can definitely check your, your bank account and statements in, from your phone. But make sure that you have a, an antivirus uh, which is, you know, good enough to protect you from all the dangers because, you know, there might be malicious apps that might uh, get installed on your phone which might steal your data. So you would need protection against these kind of malicious apps. If you have already a good antivirus on your phone, you need not worry. Uh, we have a question from Dilip. Can I track, uh, you know, the location of my near and dear ones if I have this software installed on the device? 
well what you can do uh, dilip is uh, quickheal has uh, a technology which is called as rdm which is remote device management now this remote device management tool will uh, you know keep a log of all the quickheal software that you bought so basically all the devices that on which you have installed quickheal so it will not only tell you the location of it but it will also tell you if there is an update available for that device and you can do it for more information on remote device management please visit our website or you can get in touch with any of our sales consultant uh, who will give you more information about remote remote device management but to answer your question yes with the remote device management you can trace the location of the device which are near and dear ones are carrying with them we have another interesting question if my phone's security has been compromised by a hacker and uh, your phone is sending messages or you know if there are calls being made from your phone what can you do to stop that for the moment the best thing to do is first to get your phone scrutinized and have a security app on your phone secondly report these instances to the local authorities of your uh, you know town uh, we have cyber cells in lot of cities these days so cyber cell a, a division from the local police will be able to help you if in case there is any misuse of your phone being done uh, but definitely a security app is a must because these apps will identify the malicious apps which are in a, in your phone and will also help you remove those malicious apps from your phone okay in case you need more help from us uh, you can definitely get in touch with our technical support team the number to our technical support center in india is 9272233300 it's 9272233000 Uh, a question from nitish i sometimes have my phone battery discharge very rapidly uh, although i use very few apps so i just restarted is, is it the only way well nitish to be honest with you your battery app if it's been depleted and, and rapidly then there are definitely apps which are consuming a lot of battery juice what you need to do is try and install uh, you know apps which which can help you retain the battery uh, let me suggest to you using uh, fantastic app go to google play store search for fantastic it's f o n e t a s t i c use the fantastic app because this app uh, not only helps you uh, save the memory space on your device but also tells you which apps are consuming your battery uh, quicker which uh, you know, applications in your phone are uh, depleting the battery uh, very quickly and you'll be able to resolve this issue uh what happens when is when we sell our phone and only reset the same to factory settings does all the data gets erased and not again recoverable if it gets in wrong hands okay sumit if i understand your question correctly you want to know if you reset the phone using the factory reset uh, settings then what happens does the get data get erased yes definitely the data gets erased from the phone and your phone is becomes uh, like like what you uh, you know bought it on the first day uh in it becomes in this it comes to the same condition i hope this answers your query uh, well this brings us to the uh, end of uh, today's question and answer session thank you very much for joining us in today's webinar and you have uh, a wonderful weekend ahead i am now uh, giving the mic to rajiv to conclude the session 
Thank you everyone for being with us on this webinar on the seven simple tips to take care of your new Android phone. We hope you have learned many things from Nikhil and this webinar on uh, how to keep your phone as good as new. So have a good day ahead and we'll meet you on the next webinar. Thanks.